Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today I am going to do a flip through of two books I received as happy mail from a subscriber. I did show these in my coloring haul, but I wanted to do a full flip through for you guys and just show you how pretty these are. So a little backstory, um, Chris Ortega, I actually have her diamond paintings, I think a three by now, three diamond paintings for her. So it was pretty cool to see um, that she had coloring books. I had no idea there were adult coloring books for her. So <laughs> that was new to me. So it makes me extra excited to show you this because if you do diamond painting, then you've already heard of her and maybe you already have her books and I'm just not with it. So the first one is A Colorless Kingdom. They're all called A Colorless Kingdom, but they have different volumes. So this is volume one, Myth and Fantasy. I always keep the notes from whomever sends me happy mail because I always appreciate it and never want to forget. So let's get in there. There we go, a little intro page. These are really pretty. And so it looks like, I love it when artists do this. They have little previews to their pages. We've got some little tips to get you started. And you can, she talks about how you can find digital versions. Um, they are sold separately or in packs, but if there's an image, say on here, that you wanna recolor, or maybe you just don't like the uh, Create Space paper, or you wanna do something with marker, then at least you have that. Talks about the mediums, um, appropriate for all ages. Does mention how it has black background, but you still wanna, because of the black background, put paper between. Um, and you definitely wanna do that, because otherwise this, this black will transfer to your next image. But yeah, so let's get started. This is on the cover and it is absolutely gorgeous. I do wanna do a color along. Now, my wonderful subscriber uh, had a birthday or has a birthday coming up this week. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'll get a color along out in time. Just, uh, it's been crazy. But I wanted to do flip throughs. So you guys, look at this one, it's so pretty. So you could see this gorgeous artwork. And then maybe if you guys could hop on down to the comment section below. Ooh, perfect for Mermaid. And let me know if there's a specific image that you would like to see in a color along. Since I am bringing those back, I would appreciate it. And that'll help me pick an image. Oh, look at that unicorn. It's so pretty. That's cool too. I like that one. I like the background too. And so some males in here. Not all artists um, have males in their artwork. I actually like this one. She's pouring the stars out. That's actually really cool. <laughs> this one is just so stinking adorable. I don't know if I mentioned, this is Create Space Paper. Uh, it has, you know, although it is, feels a little smoother than the typical Create Space. So I'm not sure. It's not like a Christine Caron's smoothness, but look at that, that's gorgeous. That's creepy and beautiful all in one. Oh, I like that one. Oh, this would be perfect for fe February. Oh, fairies in February. <laughs> Love it. Oh, that's lovely. She has such a unique style. Oh my gosh, that's a busy page. That one I may not jump on right away. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Oh, that's cool. A boy alone with his flute. Oh, I love this one. I love it. She's got feathers. The bird has feathers. That's lovely. Oh, this is beautiful too. Her just napping, right? Well, not really napping, but daydreaming by the pond. 
So that's cool. And the thing is with like these style backgrounds, if they intimidate you, you can just straight color over them and like fill them in with a single color, you know, or use a dark enough medium. So that's um, book number one. But you could use a dark medium and just cover them up too. So don't let like little busy backgrounds bug ya. Okay, this is volume two, dark and gothic. I need to tape these notes in. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, so again, we've got the previews with the names, which I always appreciate because then if I do a color long, <laughs> I'm not having to like make up my own name because I'm awful at that. Same thing, we got the tips page. Okay, so this is, this is the cover one, which I actually think is really pretty. You can make it so dark. These would be great for Halloween, but you don't have to wait for Halloween. Ooh, that one might... I don't know if I can color that one. I can't handle snakes. Oh, oh I love that one. Oh, this would have been excellent for fall, but you could still do these all spring colored. But look, she's just laying there. Actually, you know what? I would do this goth. I'd make the leaves like um, reds and blacks and purples. You don't have to make a green leaf. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, this is cool. I do like this black background though. So you, if you do use markers, you're not going to notice it. That's awesome. Ooh, I like that one. Oh wow, look at that one. The flowers are so pretty. Oh, that's a really nice one too. I like that. That'd be good for mermaid. This one's pretty cool. In fact, I think this is the one I have a diamond painting of. I could be losing it, but the image just, I recognize it so well. I haven't finished a diamond painting of hers. I have a diamond painting purchasing problem right now. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I like that one. I do, I do, I do. This kind of reminds me of, oh shoot, what's the fairy tale? <laughs> Here's a fairy tale. Reminds me of one of those. Ooh. That would be fun. That would be fun. Oh, that's cool too. Very unique style, but very pretty. Oh, she's undercutting herself by putting it on Create Space. Like if she came out with an artist edition of these, I would pay. And you know what? I'm gonna see if I can contact her. <laughs> See if she has plans to do that. I'll check her. Um, I'll check her website as well that was mentioned and see if she has ones you can buy. An artist edition. Oh, that's that's gorgeous. And look at that hair. Oh my gosh, that hair. Oh, I'm sorry for the construction noise. It's gonna be with me forever. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, why does he have scissors? He's got scissors. I'm trying to figure out why. Is he trying to cut like all the things tangling them, maybe? <laughs> I need a backstory. I'm pretty sure there's a diamond painting of this one because I just, I recall seeing it. I don't think I own it because I wouldn't have bought one with, with rats, but uh, yeah, I just remember seeing it somewhere. Oh my gosh, this is... This is awesome. I like this. So creepy, but so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Breaking the mirror. Like she's breaking the mirror. Yeah, this is... So I think there's only these two volumes. So I'm going to have to check it out. Uh, I'll check out her website. I'll leave some information below. Um, Oh, so if you do buy these, whoops, I should, uh, if you do go and buy the PDF version on her website, you get 30% off because there's a code in the back of these. So that's actually good to know. Um, but these are just, oh, these are beautiful, don't you think? I think these are gorgeous. 
So again, thank you so much for sending these to me. I um, definitely want to do a color along. Sorry I couldn't do it in time for your birthday. I don't want to say your birthday date just in case you didn't want it shared. Um, but we're only, you know, a couple days apart. So <laughs> happy birthday. But uh, yeah, everyone, if, if you could let me know in the comments below if there was anything that jumped out and you'd like to see a color along, I would love to know. Just let me know if it's in volume one or volume two and just a description of the picture. And then I can probably guess from there and we'll get one of those in the works. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will leave links to these books in the description below as well in case you want to purchase them. And until next time, take care. Bye now.